Hey everybody, I have a really great video for you today. It is sponsored by Timu. If you have not heard about Timu yet, where have you been? They are an online marketplace. They have anything and everything you could possibly be looking for, whether it's craft supplies or clothing or home decor, shoes, they have it all. Uh, right now they're having a Mother's Day sale. If you're looking for something special for your mom, check out Timu. I will have a 30% off coupon for anybody who is a first time Timu user. It will be in my description box down below. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created but you already knew that. So today I have a Timu haul. I got a lot of the wall decals because you can use them to make some really beautiful decor pieces that so they don't have to just be stuck on your wall, right? Like we all know that. So this one, says nothing it doesn't say anything <laughs> it's a bunch of coffee cups or teacups stacked on top of each other i thought it was so pretty i wish i had this for my uh coffee decor video i did i will have that linked down below try to do a card up here or over there um so you can check it out if you haven't seen it yet but i did just a bunch of coffee decor. Now, this one says, this kitchen is seasoned with love. How cute is this? Oh my word. Oh, oh, love that one. Thank you so much for joining me. I will have a coupon code for 30% off if you are a first time user to Timu, it'll be in my description box down below as well as right here. And um, yeah, I will have everything that I chose listed in the uh, description box down below. So you can just click on the link if there's something that you're interested in, it will bring you right to it. So with all that being said, let's get into DIY number one. So I have this um, wall decal from Timu and that um, tray is from Woodpecker's Crafts. I'm taking the color sandstone and I gave it all one coat, front, back, top, sides, everywhere. <laughs> Now I have my little jar of half beads and I am going to grab some of the smallest beads that I have, the smallest half beads that I have in this jar. And I just want to apologize for my voice. I went to a Boston Bruins game. Yes, I am from the Northeast from New England and they are my hockey team. So anyways, I went to the playoffs and or to the playoff game and yeah, I kind of yelled a little bit. So um, anyway, it won't be like this forever, but just bear with me while I recover, not only from the yelling, but from the overtime heartbreaking loss. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to take some painter's tape and just line the little beads onto the tape so that I can paint them. So I had a small jar of the truffle Waverly chalk paint. There wasn't much left in it, so I added a bunch of water so that it's more like a stain Although I did not wipe it down when I did these beads, I just used it as a paint. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to paint these beads. <laughs> Now, 
So I dried them with my heat gun and then I put them aside to dry completely. So while they're drying, I'm just going to take this wall decal and take it off of the carrier paper and place it in the center of the tray. Well, it didn't work out so well the first time, so I had to take it off and position it a little bit better but in the end it is very close to the center of the tray Okay, now that I centered it a little bit better, I used my Cricut and I just cut out the word coffee. Um, I did two of them and I am just going to place the vinyl letters on either side of this wall decal. Once I got the vinyl on and the beads were dry, I am, I just took them off of the tape. Now this vinyl is from Timu. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's really worth it. It's way cheaper than getting it from one of the craft stores or even online. So uh, check out Timu for the transfer tape as well. So anyways, I am going to take the beads and I put one on each corner of the tray and then I put four sets of three, I believe. Maybe three sets of three. I think four sets of three. <laughs> and I just kind of placed them all over the tray because it's just a decor piece that's not going to be used as a tray. And then once the beads are all in place, that's it for this one. I think it's super adorable. And again, I will have my coffee video coffee decor video linked in the cards so you can check it out but i love how this came out let me know what you guys think diy number two i have these wood blanks i got from michael's and one of the candle holders that came from the dollar tree So once I get all of the wrappers off of the wood pieces, I'm going to take that truffle stain, if you will, that I made up and I am just going to stain this wood with that watered down paint. And I do take a paper towel and just kind of wipe it down. And then once it's dry, it's even lighter than the wiped down portion, if that makes sense. You'll see. And I do the top and bottom and the ends on both pieces. And here they are all dry, so they're a little bit lighter. So now, I am making a tiered tray, but I wanted it to be off-centered. So if that makes sense, not I don't want them like on top of each other, like in the same way. You'll see, I'm not making any sense. Anyway, I'm taking the uh, candlestick and, or the, 
yeah, candlestick holder and some E6000 and some hot glue. And I'm going to glue it upside down over in the corner there. And then I'm going to take the top piece, which is a smaller piece, and I'm going to kind of tilt it sideways. I don't know. I'm not explaining it very well, but I'm going to do the E6000 the hot glue on the top part of this or the bottom part of this candle holder. And then you'll see how I place the top tier of this tier tray. Now I let that sit overnight and then I went back and I went around both uh, ends of the candle holder to reinforce it with more E6000. Now I have these little decor pieces from Target Dollar Spot. Um, one was a complete set and this piece was alone because I used the other two pieces for another project in that video that was linked earlier. But anyways, um, so I am just going to take these pieces and I'm going to decorate this tier tray with them. And once I got them all glued down, that's it for this piece. I think it's so adorable and there's still room to add. If you wanted to add some real coffee cups down at the bottom, you could do that. Or if you wanted to put a little basket with some of your cake cups or something, you could do that. But I think it's adorable. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. So I wanted to let you guys know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you are interested in supporting my channel that way. But either way, stop on by my social medias and say hi. I would love to hear from all of you. DIY number three. I have these two signs that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. They were 90% off. I paid like a dollar fifty for them or something. Um, yeah, it was like a dollar sixty. Um, and they're good sized, so I love them. But I'm going to redo them. <laughs> So as you can see, they have like those little eyelet screw things that were holding the hangers and I'm going to save them because I'll be using them later on. But for now, I'm taking them both off. Okay, so my tip to everyone is to think things through before you do it, okay? <laughs> So, and you'll see in just a second what I'm talking about. So, I bought this stapler from Amazon as well as the staples. So, I put the two boards together and I start stapling it. And once I get them mostly done, I realize, Tammy, you fool, you forgot to put the wood glue in. <laughs> so, I flipped it over and I kind of like lifted one side up and you were able to crease it enough so that I could get the wood glue in place. So I added the wood glue and wiped off all of the excess that was coming up. And then I took my big clamps and I clamped it together and let it dry for a while. <laughs> now, once it was dry, I took my white Waverly chalk paint and I went over everything 
two times. I didn't do the back because I was going to cover it with craft paper, so I didn't worry about it. So now I have this um, wall decal that I got from Timu, and it says uh, the kitchen, this kitchen is seasoned with love. So I just started taking off the words and placing them on this or these two boards. So once that's done, I have these little rolling pins from Hobby Lobby and this cutting board that I got for like 35 cents. Um, so they both came from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I just said that or not. And the rolling pins, I have like, I don't know, a good 15 of them because <laughs> every time I see them on clearance for 90% off, I grab them. So I'm taking the cutting board and I am going to give it a couple coats of the white Waverly chalk paint on the top. And then I take the rich black from Folk Art and I do the edge of the cutting board. And I don't bother doing the back because it's going to be hot glued to this decor piece anyway. And I don't bother painting the rolling pin because it's already black and white. I just make sure that I glue it. I put the glue right where it says Merry Christmas so that it's down and you can't see the wording. <laughs> And now I'm just going around the edge of the cutting board just to dirty it up a little bit. Once that's all dry, I at first took this, the little sticker that shows you how it's supposed to look, the um, wall decal, but I pulled that off because I thought it was kind of crazy to have it on there when it already says that. So I have these um, rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take a few, um, different pieces off of this, uh, page and I am going to add them right to the cutting board. And once that's done, I'm going to hot glue the cutting board and the rolling pin onto this piece of decor. Now here you can see I am measuring in five inches. I'm just going to make a mark. I'm doing that from both sides. That's where I'm going to put those little eyelet things um, so that I can use them to hang this piece. And then once I get those screwed in, I'm using the last of my packing paper or craft paper, whatever you want to call it, uh, to cover up the back of this sign. So I'm just taking some hot glue, going around the edges, 
and then pressing the paper down. And of course, once I get the paper down, I'm going to take my finger sander and go around all of the edges and just uh, sand off all the excess paper. Once that's done, I'm going to take my roll of twine that I get from Amazon and I am just going to make a hanger. And that's all there is for this piece. I absolutely love how this came out. I think it's gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I'd like to thank Timu for sponsoring this video. I will have their information down below as well as the coupon code. So make sure if you haven't already, you go check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you next time.